What's up guys? It's uh -huh. not Ambies. Today I'm doing a video on the Filter Labs friend. So I got this idea from Eric Khan and the main purpose of this video is to show how discreet it is. So here's a video of the packaging that came in. I think it's pretty discreet. Nothing screams 420 or anything of the nature. You know, completely normal packaging. I'm stressing this in case you live with others or you're not supposed to be chafing in the house. You know, nothing 420 friendly. So inside the package is the box, not getting too into it. Here we have the filter itself, fits in the palm of the hand. Uh, I wouldn't judge the size too much on my hands since I have small hands. Seems bigger, yeah. Here is a side-by-side -side of the new one I just unboxed next to one I've had for mm, about a year now. As you can see, it's not the wide it used to be. It's been in many pockets. This old one would have the same functionality if it weren't for the used filter that's inside. Maybe I've used about 400 puffs. You are able to open it and replace the filter, and that's what I'll do now. So here, I have a pack of two for the filters that the friend uses. The bag is compostable, and that's one of the selling points that Filter Labs uses. They make everything biodegradable so you don't have to worry about throwing it away or damn near just throwing it outside. So inside is just the two filters, nothing special. Let's uh, take one out and replace the cartridge now. Boom. And now that we've replaced the cartridge, even though it looks a uh, little used up, it'll work just as new. So today, I'll be chiefing on this Muha Med. It's Diamond Peaches, and it's from the Diamond Reserve. It was about $30, and it was about $5 more for the live resin than the distillate. So of course, I'm not expecting this to be too crazy or anything. So damn, that Loki took a little bit to open just because I cut my nails and this childproof packaging Loki be adult proof. But now that we have it open, here is the Muhammad itself. God damn it, the Muhammad itself. Um, so obviously it's like thin, like a flash drive, damn near. Um, looks like a jewel almost. If you didn't know what Muhammads were, um, but yeah, there's the wax in there. This is live resin. So now we're going to be trying it out with the filter. Obviously, I've had my months of experience of using this, but just to show it out. All right, so here's the Muhammad. We're going to be taking off the rubber top part. This little condom thing. Yep, and we have to peel it off. Reveals the micro USB and allows you to draw it. So you will go. Oh! All right, so now that we have that, you saw the smoke. All right, time to give it a big swig. Blow it out. No smoke, no smoke at all. There is no smoke, boom, completely, bam, wow. That's all you gotta do to use it. Now, one thing I do have to say is that it won't a thousand percent cover all the smell. If you are chiefing something that's like 710 labs and it's just that stanky stanky, this will not cover you because your pen itself will reek your lungs and your breath will reek sometimes the filter itself will reek and again that's only if you're chiefing on some like nice gas that smells like some straight loud so you know this muhammad does have some crazy stupid fake flavoring so i think you will be able to smell it luckily i'm not trying to hide this right now so i think i'm fine again this is a small little device that there's no really gimmicks to it. It's just a small handheld filter, not super big, like a sploofy or anything. You know, this is my kind of device. I love it. I use it. I recommend it. 